yeah, and here is Anthony right. Odd. Good respect there. Two, uh, just two proper fighters. Um, how, how you feeling? I feel good, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What, what did you make of the the face off of your man there, Stephanie? He gave you a little bit. Nick said it looked like he was greeting you. Gave <laughs> you a little bit of that. A little cheek to cheek. Um, yeah. No, I feel like he's just trying to sack himself up. I feel like he knows what's coming, but I've got a job to do tomorrow. Yeah. Look, he's come over in shape. It's not like one of these fellas that's come over with like the beer belly yeah, hanging over. He's, he's, he's in shape. He's ready, isn't he? Mm, he's in shape, man. But he's someone that you've given all the respect in the world to all week. All you've been saying is, Baturbiev, who, I don't care about that. I'm treating this fella like it's the most important fight in my career. Because it is. Until you have another fight, this isn't the most important fight. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. If you're a professional boxer, I'm not going to be thinking about that. That's not me. I've got someone in front of me, so I'm a professional and I'm looking to take this head off the moon. Well, I was going to ask you what your prediction is, but I think you've just given it to me. You know what? <laughs> how many times? I'm in the school for entertainment. Yeah. I don't think no one wants it. If I go out there and box them for 10 rounds, even I'll be there, I'll start you. So it's about going out there, putting in a, as they say, punch perfect performance, getting a knockout in the best way I can. Go well.